Hey cross watchers for Aquarius. Welcome to your October cross watching video. If you're an Aquarius that's watching guys, keep in mind this video is directed more for cross watcher energy. So things from their point of view, uh, these are still general readings, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, and if it doesn't resonate, then you know, maybe your person is not on my channel watching maybe they're watching a different channel maybe they don't watch tarot readings but this is being done with the intention of bringing about healing and good vibrations good energy so asking archangel michael and archangel Raphael to come in and bring any information that cross watchers for aquarius need to know in the month of october anything that will be beneficial helpful healing for a cross watcher and um aquarius energy for the month of october 2019 thank you archangels so we're going to shuffle a couple more times here and then we're going to go ahead and get into it and see what's coming up what maybe needs to be kept in mind what might be happening with our lovely aquarius friends or cross watchers for aquarius all right so we have you know what i think something is happening in october with the energies i'm 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 curious what might be happening with the next full moon because i just did libra and um or it could be an air sign thing uh but there seems to be right off the bat a similarity now maybe some of you are a libra and you're cross watching for an aquarius not necessarily but the thing that's similar here is uh, I have seven of wands coming up. And so for me, you know, seven of wands is going to be about standing your ground, like holding your opinion or, um, you know, like, like standing up for what you believe or like not being budged, not being made to move. And something came up with Libras where there was a bit of like a power struggle or a bit of like, you know, uh, emphasizing or insisting, I should say, insisting on opinions. And so Seven of Wands makes me feel a uh, cross washer for Aquarius. Your Aquarius may be feeling like you are pushing an issue too hard or that you're insisting on something and uh, they're not backing down. They're maybe not seeing things your way. For other ones of you, if you're dealing with an Aquarius where say there's been problems in the relationship and you guys are working on it, you're trying to make it better or you're trying to reconcile, then uh, Seven of Wands says your Aquarius is really doing their very, very best to stay on track, to stay on target and to make things work. Okay. When seven of wands comes up, it's somebody who's holding it down. Like they're holding, uh, down uh, the, the, they're, they're, you know, holding their ground basically. And that's the feeling that I'm getting with this, this seven of wands. I do feel for some of you dealing with an Aquarius you might feel like there's a lot of people that are chasing after your Aquarius, that they're like, you know, giving your Aquarius the eye or flirting with them or trying to steal them away. Cross watcher, I do feel as some of you have uh, somebody who is very deliberately, you know, trying to like get in, get in there and get your Aquarius's attention. And it could be maybe they're a little bit obsessed with your Aquarius or maybe they're just very thirsty. I don't know. It could be that they don't like you and it's like a, like a way of trying to get back at you. But this seven of wands makes me feel like, you know, uh, your Aquarius is still seeing you like, like you're, you're standing out. So whatever competition there might be, whatever there might be other people trying to get into the relationship, even if it's not a situation with like, uh, you know, people competing with you romantically, say it's like their friends or their family trying to get between you guys. I feel like Aquarius is, you know, doing a better job of keeping their people out of the mix right because sometimes that happens in relationships our friends and family get involved and it's up to us to stand up to them and to say hey don't get in my relationship our partner can't necessarily always do that so those of you that you have maybe somebody on aquarius's end you know kind of making issues or drama or you know butting their nose in where it doesn't belong 
uh, I feel like Aquarius is just setting boundaries and just saying, nope, like you don't get to intervene with this. So again, I feel like your Aquarius is really making an effort, at least in the beginning of the month. We'll see what else is coming up in the reading as we move forward. We have Nine of Cups, so wishes coming true. Um, if there has been something that you have promised your Aquarius that you were going to be doing or something that you were going to be working on because I do kind of get a feeling that a lot of you who are watching are watching kind of I, I guess I'll say for lack of a better word a strained relationship like again like there's been some issues but you guys are trying to work it out I feel that for those of you where you're trying to make things up to an Aquarius either you're trying to apologize or um, you know, they've kind of let you know something about the relationship on your end hasn't been working for them. And maybe you're like, okay, fine, I'll work on it. You know, Nine of Cups is telling me your Aquarius is pleased. Like your, your Aquarius is feeling like, you know, their wish is coming true um, or that, you know, like they're receiving their kind of way. I do feel for some of you, your Aquarius, for some reason with this Nine of Cups, is coming across some money. There may be some bonus that's coming into them uh, or coming their way or uh, they might be winning tickets to something and they might be seeing it as, oh, like you might be like, oh, wow, you know, you know, hey, babe, you want tickets? Oh, I can't wait to go to this place or I can't wait to go do this thing with you. They might be more of the mindset of I'm going to sell these instead and I'm going to keep the money. And so there could be something happening for some of you and that's just an example it's a specific one albeit but it's just an example uh, you might feel like your aquarius is making choices or decisions where like you're like well hey but like you didn't ask me what i wanted right uh sometimes with nine of cups is is somebody is like in what is gonna be good for them or like in their pleasure not in a malicious way not in a sneaky way, not in a way where they're doing things to be hurtful towards you. Um, some of you may even be feeling like your Aquarius is like spending a lot of, uh, not, not a lot, but you might feel like your Aquarius is doing something where they're treating themselves in some way and you're feeling excluded or you're feeling left out of it, right? Like, you know, they might have some hobby that you're not into or it might be like a solo one person kind of deal and they might be you know blowing off some steam or treating themselves in some way and going off and doing this thing without you in October uh, I, I don't get like a vibe of like not being into you because that seven of wands tells us like they're really working for the relationship and they are telling other people to butt out but they may also be doing some things by themselves to blow off some steam that's the feeling that i'm getting with those of you cross watching for an aquarius next here we have four of cups right so wow what a dip we're taking like it's going really like everything is great very fulfilled to all of a sudden i'm not fulfilled and i don't like what's being offered here um i think that for a lot of you um, it's really interesting the way I'm looking at this card or the, what's jumping out at me. Those of you who watch my readings, you know that I do read intuitively and what's kind of jumping out at me here. And, and I don't typically get this from this, uh, from this card, but what I'm feeling in this way, I'm feeling like this pouty energy. Like I'm looking at this guy here in this card. He looks like he's pouting, right? Like he's sulking or pouting or like it's not fair uh, no fair you know like like somebody else got something better or somebody else got something more and so i do feel uh that some of you are dealing with a situation um where either i'm sorry cross watcher but some of you are dealing with a situation where your aquarius feels like um you're pouting or you're sulking or you're not appreciating what they're putting forward or they might feel like they're putting in all this effort and you're not doing a whole lot so even though there's like this moment where they feel like oh this is great you're working on it there seems to be some kind of a shift there seems to be some kind of a of, of a disagreement so i think what what is happening is this i think they're working really hard 
they're feeling really happy. They're maybe taking some time off by themselves to do things that they're enjoying, right? Like they feel like everything is good. Like I'm doing my part. I'm working on my stuff. You know, Crosswatch is working on their stuff. I'm telling everybody to like butt out of it and leave us alone. Everything is great. Everything is wonderful. I'm going to go off and blow off some steam. I'm going to go do some things by myself. And then that might begin creating issues or that might begin creating like, you know, hey, well, what's going on? How come you're not thinking about me? Are you seeing somebody else? Why didn't you tell me about it? Why can't I go? And so that might all of a sudden create friction. Well, oh, I'm doing all this and you're still you're still coming at, at me with this cross watcher. Like I'm doing all this and, and you're still complaining. And oh my goodness, like it, it could be a very touchy thing. Like they might just all of a sudden like go off. Like I'm doing all this and you're still accusing me or you're still not seeing the effort I'm putting in. So... I will say this, you know, maybe just be cautious with your approach, um, you know, and ask yourself, like, are you really, you know, Crosswatcher, ask yourself, like, has this Aquarius really done something for you to be suspicious of them, right? Like, may maybe that's what you all are trying to work through. Maybe there was an infidelity or something of that nature. But if you're not ready to trust, then you're not ready to give this relationship a try. And I feel a lot of you are dealing with an Aquarius that like they're, they're at that point. Like they're like, they're doing their best, but if you're gonna bring the past up or if you're gonna hold it over my head, I don't wanna do this. Like if we're doing this, we're doing this with a clean slate. And if you can't do it with a clean slate, I don't have the patience for it. Like that's the feeling I feel Aquarius is, is coming into the energy with this. Now, it's gonna be different for different ones of you. Some of you might not have something that drastic or that make it or break it these are general readings after all but i am feeling there's like just this energy of frustration like man no matter what i do it's not enough uh maybe cross watchers some of you are feeling that way but i feel mostly it's the aquarius who's feeling like man like like, like what more do i have to do for cross watcher to believe me what more do i have to do for cross watcher to be happy um you know there's like this some kind of a frustration in that way our next card here is the devil okay so the devil is going to be um what well, not it's going to be it is a major arcana card right so major arcana cards come up at really significant turning points crossroads life lessons spiritual awakening all of that wonderful stuff uh you may be a capricorn cross watcher and so you may have some Capricorn tendencies that are coming in to the relationship that you need to kind of adjust with your Aquarius. You might need to look at yourself and your own traits and your own tendencies and see, okay, what are some of the things I can focus on to strengthen the relationship? What are some things about my tendencies or are there fears or insecurities that I need to just kind of get a handle on so that they don't get in the way of the relationship or your Aquarius may have Capricorn in their sun, I'm um, not in their sun, but like in their moon or rising or Venus, and those may be coming up and you need to take those into consideration. But all Zodiac stuff aside, typically when I see the devil card come up in a relationship between two people, it tells me, again, I get like a bit of a power struggle vibe, but more so where the relationship may be purely physically based or it's beginning to feel purely physically based. Uh, you all might not get along so great, um, or you all might not be agreeing or arguing, because let's face it, you know, that Four of Cups is telling us, Cross Watcher, things might take a little bit of a dip in October. It's starting off promising. It's starting off strong, but it seems like mid-month there's some kind of bickering or arguing that's going on, or like you all aren't agreeing with one another, but the devil card is telling me it's like th there's this inability to let go. And sometimes, you know, it's just because the physical connection is so intense. And sometimes the reason the physical connection is so intense is because of the karmic uh, connection, the karmic aspect of things. It's like the more people trigger us, the more we're attracted to them or the more intense, you know, the sexual connection may be. And so I do feel, Cross Watcher, that you and your Aquarius are kind of triggering each other and it's becoming this, you know, hot and cold kind of thing and it's becoming um, 
a situation where there's a lot of uh, magnetism physically, but there may be a lot of arguing or disagreement in other ways. Okay, so this is going to be kind of it's, it's interesting because we didn't get the same cards for Libra, but Libra had some very, very similar, very similar elements. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you who are watching um, for Aquarius happen to be Libra. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Or if there's just like some kind of mix, like you have Libra somewhere in your chart or your Aquarius has Libra somewhere in their chart, that wouldn't surprise me one bit because there's, again, not the same cards, but very similar kind of energies. The difference between you guys, Aquarius, is I feel this connection is a lot more intense in terms of the physical. You know, I, I feel like yours is a lot more in, intense where you just kind of feel like, like I feel some of you have been dealing with this Aquarius since what feels like the beginning of time, right? Like you, some of you might go all the way back to like high school or something, or some of you may be divorced from this person, but you still have some kind of complicated like uh, relationship where you're still involved and there's still feelings and there's still sex and all kinds of things happening. So I do feel there's a very, very strong connection that's feeling difficult to walk away from. Like, damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of energy here with this Aquarius. Um, next, what we have happening here is the sun. So another major arcana card. It's all over the place. This is a roller coaster. See, it's like high, low, you know. But I, I think, you know, what's happening is, and I think this is the good thing, um, you know, and that's the thing about a karmic soulmate is, you know, they do come in to kind of show us what we need to fix about ourselves or what we need to work on or what some of our insecurities may be. And so the sun card is telling me that you guys are both coming into this with a sense of maturity and you're doing the work, right? Like you're kind of looking at the situation. Okay, well, you know, I got upset with Aquarius because they were going off and doing things on their own. All right, so I need to work on my insecurity or I need to work on, you know, my trust issues. And, you know, vice versa, Aquarius might have things that they get upset and they might see and say, okay, well, Crosswatcher did this and that kind of triggered me. Let me figure out why that's triggering me. How can I fix it? And then it's coming into this sun energy, okay? The sun is true love. You know, so I think that some of you are making your mind up and you're deciding where you're like, this is it. This is, this is, I love this person. No, they're not perfect. You know, they might be taking me through all kinds of things, but you know, the, the highs are worth the lows or, you know, the positive, the pluses are more than the minuses. So I feel some of you are just in this thing where you're deciding that you know what we're gonna do this like there is love here i also feel some of you might be doing doing something in terms of uh beginning to make plans to travel together so if you've been this with this aquarius for a long time or if you are like at a certain age where you know you've worked hard and you have money saved up or you know you guys might be looking to get away together um i am also feeling a sense of companionship and i feel for some of you where you've been on and off with an Aquarius, or this is someone who's been in your life a long time, for some reason, and this isn't like, I, I don't want to, I'm not saying this is what the sun card means, because it's not the traditional meaning of the sun card, but something about the card is making me feel this way. I feel some of you are coming into an arrangement with your Aquarius where you all are deciding to stay together, but you're also giving each other a certain sense of freedom, not necessarily an open relationship. I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you will, but I, not necessarily an open relationship, but more in the thing of like a companionship. Like maybe you all are deciding, you know what? We like having our space. Like, I don't want to live with you. You don't want to live with me. You know, we don't necessarily want to get married, but we enjoy spending time together. We enjoy traveling together. So there could be some kind of like non-traditional kind of uh, uh, commitment that works for you guys in that way. And where like you're deciding that you're together. Okay, I do feel that for, for some of you. Uh, not for all of you, but for some of you. For other ones of you, it's just realizing that you all love each other or some of you are just like you know those of you where it's like a negative karma the sun card is telling me that this is the month that you're going to finally be able to break out of it right 
where you're going to finally be able to be like, nope, not not happening. Some of you who have a negative on again, off again thing with an Aquarius where you all have not been in contact for a long time, your Aquarius may be resurfacing or you may be running into each other and they might be seeing that you're in a really good place in your life or like, oh, well, okay, cross watchers better off since our relationship. I better leave cross watcher alone because you know, they seem to be doing really good without me. And that's not for everybody. So if you are an Aquarius that's watching, please don't get offended. You know, if you're not a low vibrational person and you know you're not a low vibrational person and you know that you haven't wronged anybody in that way, then it doesn't apply to you and you don't have to get upset about it. But for those of you who are very deeply wronged by an Aquarius or an Aquarius that maybe, you know, did some things that weren't right, um, I think that October they're kind of resurfacing and they're seeing you as you're in like the sun kind of energy. Like you're good, you're happy, you're 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 maybe even popular. Some of you are are coming off very popular or very well known in some way, and so they're just kind of feeling like you know what? All right, I made a mistake and I I need to leave them alone. They're better off without me. So some of you are getting like some kind of cosmic vindication, validation, some kind of cosmic justice in that way these are general readings the cards apply in different ways it is the job of the tarot reader to read the energy of the individual and get a feel for what the cards are trying to say as they come together so being that i'm not reading for just one person i'm reading for many 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 people i'm doing a general reading online you know it's going to be different scenarios i suggest that you watch your love video for your sun sign and your Venus sign. Some people like to do the moon sign too, but I would recommend at least your sun sign and Venus sign. Watch the October love readings cross watcher for your sun sign and Venus sign. And then that way you'll be able to kind of piece them together uh, and see really what's resonating to you. It makes it a little bit more personal in that way. Obviously, some of you are going to need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. And if you click on the Calendly link in the description of the video, it'll take you to the scheduling page and all of everything is there. The, the reading options, the availability, the prices, it's all there. You can schedule on Calendly. Uh, and if you're wanting to watch the October love videos, there's a link in the description of the video for that as well. All right, my dears, I thank you so very much for watching Cross Watcher. I'm wishing you a fabulous October. Don't forget to watch your weekly forecasts. I know you're on here watching about somebody you care about, but don't forget about you. Don't forget about yourselves and watch the weekly forecast for your sun, moon, and rising every single week. It's going to be about money, career, spirituality, healing, whatever comes up, everything other than love, because sometimes we get so into love that we forget about ourselves. So that's why I do those videos separately. And, you know, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of them. All right, my dears, take care.